It's just drag. Drag isn't inherently sexual, which is bullshit. You're dancing seductively in ridiculous clothing, sometimes while taking clothing off, which is what the kid does in his act. There's, I, I watched the Vice documentary about it. Well, people throw money at you. That, that's kind of sexual. But let, let me humor him for a second. Let's pretend it's not sexual, for argument's sake. Let's say that what the kid is doing is no different, like they like to say, than ballet or interpretive dance. So he's just gay, right? But let's just say that. For, for, let's pretend for a second. Let me ask you a question. Would you be comfortable with adults who have no relation to the child? They're not the parent. They're not the, the, the aunt or uncle. Not a, a family friend, grandparent, nothing like that. Just random adults that wanted to hop in for fun. Would you be comfortable with those adults going and watching random children's ballet recitals? Or would you have some questions about them? So even if it is no different than ballet or whatever other form of dance, don't you think it's a little weird that random adults would go out of their way and pay money to see a kid dance, period? And I wouldn't even stop at dance. I mean, if you're going to fifth grade football games, baseball games, basketball, soccer, whatever, any type of, of, of event that involves children and you don't have any ties to it, you don't know anyone playing, you don't know any of the parents, I'm not comfortable with that either. Stay the fuck away from people's kids. You want to watch a sport so bad, there's plenty you can watch on TV, there's high school, pro, college games all over the state, go there. Stay the fuck away from people's kids. Am I out of line on this? No, not at all. Is it, is it not weird to want to watch someone else's kid that you have no connection to dance? whether it's sexual or not. Is that not a weird thing? Should those people not be put on lists? I, no, I agree. I No, I agree. It's just, yeah, no, I like how you made the comparison to just sports. Yeah, it's weird either way. In general, yeah. I don't care if it's a hobby, if it's not sexual at all. It's, it's still weird that you want to go, that, that, why would someone want to go watch somebody else's kid dance? And the parents are just okay with this. They have no problem. I think, well, I watched the Vice documentary on this kid because I wanted to get somewhat educated about it before I talked about it on the show. And I think the dad might be coming out through his son. <laughs> I think that that's my theory here. And I, I did watch it. And they were talking to the mom and they showed the kid. It was like three at the time, three or four drag. And was, of course, fascinated by it. It's loud music and crazy dancing and bright colors like any three year old would be. Right. Any kid would be. Right. Yeah. By that. So. They asked the kid, do you, or the mom admits in the Vice documentary, supposedly the kid just chose this lifestyle on his own, but the mom asked the kid, would you want to wear a dress someday? When you ask a fucking three-year-old that question, what do you think? They're, they're going to say yes. Their parents asked them. I want to impress mom and dad. Of course I do. You could ask if he wanted to be a dinosaur and he'd say Yes. Do you want to try crystal meth someday? Yeah. Well, yeah. And if it's something that he was intrigued by because of the mm -hmm. music and the lights and everything, then yeah, he's going to want to. Yeah. He's going to want to do that because yeah. he's three. Yeah. He doesn't know any better. Yeah. I'll tell you, I remember when I was a kid, my mom asked me, because my cousin used to wrestle. My parents asked me, do you want to wrestle? And I did not want to wrestle, but I said, yes. Because that's what my parents asked me if I wanted to do, and I fucking hated it. K kids will tell you yes if you're the parent. Because they feel like, th in a weird way, when you ask a young kid a question, you're basically, in their mind, you're just telling them. It's like when your boss goes, hey, could I get you to come in? Uh, So-and-so canceled on their shift. He's not really asking you, right? It's more or less like, hey, come on in. Kind of the same thing. Maybe I'm weird. I don't know. I'm just disturbed by all this. Again, that is a March 10th, Sunday, 6 p.m. at the Urban Abbey Coffee Center in Omaha in the old market off 10th and Jackson Street. We might go down there and do some man on the street stuff. I just want to interview people, document. Should we go? We, I think we should. Would you Would you hold the camera? We'll see. I'm going to need someone to. And we're going to interview people. I mean, we might as well. What else are we going to do on a Sunday? It's yeah. a big event going on. I just want to go down there and see. I'm just, I just want to see what's going on. We're not on going to the, the show. We'll no. go on the, I want to see the protests if there's anything yeah. going on around yeah, it. I yeah, I want to see if there's anything going on around there. Yeah. yeah. 
No, yeah, I think I think we'll go down there. We might be down there. Maybe we'll air it on like Friday or something. Um, the f the following Friday. But yeah, so maybe you'll maybe you'll bump into us down there. Who knows? Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, be sure to click the link in the description to get the full episode on Rumble. If you prefer to listen along, you could actually get us on Spotify, Spreaker, and iHeartRadio. You can also go to www.outlawstreamers.com to learn more about not just my show, but tons of other great shows and all the exciting projects they have coming up. Follow my socials at Caleb Isn't Funny on Twitter and Instagram, at Caleb Salvatore Comedy on the Chinese spy app that is TikTok, and be sure to like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thanks, and we'll see you every Saturday for Brand new episodes of That's Based. Peace.